Hey guys, Silence Yale here. Welcome back to another Utama Cross Gacha video. And this time round, we are stepping into the second event of the month. But before we begin all the Utama Cross goodness, let's talk a bit about the good news that came about today for all international Macross fans. So if you guys are following me on my Facebook page, you probably know what I'm talking about. The big uh, handshake between Harmony Gold and of course the official Japanese Macross franchise uh, which also is under Big West. So yes, finally the two companies have come to a compromise and are able to settle on releasing the Macross series and the Robotech franchise. Yes, you don't hear me say Robotech ever so often in any of any of my videos because to me the Macross series belongs to the Japanese side and I've never watched a single episode of Robotech ever because you know that's how I knew Macross. I watched everything in its original Japanese glory and that's how I've always treated the series as it was. So yes Today we had the big official handshake between HG and BW and finally good things are starting to move um, into the light like what Kao Mori has said on his official Twitter account uh, there is never a night that has no dawn so that that's a very very deep thought <laughs> you know it's basically um, a very complicated way of saying uh, there's always light at the end of the road, I guess. You know? So, um, okay, so aside from that, Big West has also opened an official Macross English Twitter account. So, if you guys um, want to attain some official Macross English tweets, Go ahead and follow that Twitter account. Is this is this putting me out of business? <laughs> so yeah, I will still be translating the Japanese um, tweets on official information from the Macross franchise on my Facebook page. Um, sometimes you know, like um, official English tweeters um, don't exactly produce content out as quickly as the fans would. So, a uh, big example would be Flying Dog. <laughs> their English Twitter account and their Instagram account is way slower than their official ones in Japanese. So, hopefully the uh, Macross franchise accounts um, that is in English now uh, is the same. So that at least I have a chance to <laughs> do what I've always been doing translating all the official news for you guys so yes guys do not forget the love from this passionate friend as well uh, so yeah I'm, I'm always there uh, you know your appreciation and your following is always appreciated by me <laughs> so yeah guys uh, with all the good news said and done let's dive into the brand new gacha that belongs to Kana Mama. Alright, so first thing we want to do as always, let's check out her brand new episode plate and see how well it stacks up. Oh no, why do I see only Kana's image? So immediately, if you guys are familiar with episode plates that are only focused on the, you know, the promoted diva, you know that this episode plate has a life skill that is only usable by Kanami herself. So 3,870 total score, not the best out there we've seen for 6 star episode plates nowadays. Um, but well balanced stats all around, so that's good. You know, it's versatile for all um, Blue series songs, you know, if you want to utilize its uh, elemental or series prowls, you know, specialties. Alright, center skill, life up. Hmm, so units, life is improved by 40% up. 
I guess um, if you're trying to survive the barrage of notes, especially for extreme or even very hard, if you're the kind of players who struggle with music games, uh, this like this center skill is actually useful to a certain extent. So not too bad. All right, second page, life recovery of thirty percent. You know the best recovery we've ever seen is still fifty percent. Um, so that puts this plate at a very, very considerable spot. Alright, so here is the life skill. Just like we mentioned from this, we speculated that this episode plate is just for Kaname. So yes, it's the Utahime score repeat level 5 skill. So at the 30 second mark, for 7 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. And because it's a score repeat ability, basically um, after every 30 seconds the skill reactivates again. So that's pretty fantastic. But sadly to say, it's only equipable by Kaname herself. So let's take a look at the last page. If it comes with a special note, it's gonna be the first of its kind. Where an individual diva episode plate has a special note attached to it. So will it have it? Um, sadly to say no. <laughs> so is Kaname's episode plate actually worth the singing stones? Uh, definitely not. So for Kaname fans, yes, it's definitely an episode plate that you want to attain. The illustration with Kaname wearing uh, Yasuno's Wild Great Third Life costume is definitely a lovely illustration. Um, the costume itself is definitely worth the attain, especially if you are a Valkyrie fan and you've attended the Third Life or if you've even seen the live concert on the Blu-ray release. Um, yeah, this costume is definitely an iconic one. Um, definitely a must-get costume, but sadly to say, the episode plate itself is not a must-get. So if you guys are not Kaname fans, Hold back your singing stones. Um, I still think there's better gachas out there that you can spend your singing stones on. Especially this one! <laughs> so, uh, this gacha was released um, some time back and it promotes basically the costumes that were featured in 6 star, 7 star episode plates. Uh, technically, it, I mean, it does have episode plates that are 6 stars as well, but the main thing is the gacha has pretty nice um, distribution rates and, you know, promises on certain steps. So, we'll talk about this just briefly. Okay, for the first two steps, basically they are all just discounted um, and they are not exactly good pool rates. They're just the regular ones, so the first two steps are just bait to earn more singing stones out from your pocket. Um, the important ones are basically step 3, 4 and 5. So step 3, you will be guaranteed a 5 star um, and above. So there is a chance for you to get a 6 star, but you know, the, the pool rate isn't exactly improved. So step 4, at a slightly discounted rate at 400 singing stones, you will be granted a 0.63 improvement appearance of a 6 star and above. So basically, I have a feeling that's kind of like a guaranteed 6 star episode plate. So yeah. So if you really want to at least attain a 6 star episode play right here, you're gonna have to pull, let's see, 1,050... So 1,550 singing stones. Ooh, that's kind of hefty. Alright, so step 5 is not a necessary pull. Well, if you have the extra 500 singing stones, um, why not go for it? After all, you'll be getting a guaranteed 5 star episode plate as well. So there is a chance, you know, that it might be evolving to a 6 star episode plate. But, you know, I wouldn't count your luck. Just save the 500 singing stones. 
because if you're gonna pull up to step five, you're gonna be needing two thousand and fifty. If if my math is right, <laughs> yeah. So two thousand and fifty singing stones just to pull up to step five, you know, and attain some older seven star piece of place that have no um, special notes attached to them. But you know if. Your fans of Makina, Freya, Minmei, I guess that's fine. You know, especially if you're trying to fill up um, the missing slots in your 7 star collection. So yeah, alright, aside from all of this, let's dive into the gacha itself. We're gonna go with our usual ritual nowadays. So we're gonna pull the single free pool first. Just to see how the luck is. You know, considering that we've been rolling with bad luck since the um, seven-star introduction of Ranka and Cheryl, so hopefully some of that bad luck has washed away. We do get a single Valkyrie animation for a free pool. Ooh, red box, rainbow, holy! Okay. Another powerful episode play of Kaname's is getting powered up. We've been seeing a lot of this as episode play recently. So holy crap! <laughs> Single free pool <laughs> pulls out a five star. Okay, that's we're going. We're gonna go straight into the template right now because I have a feeling things are looking up. So let's do this. Ooh, I'm very nervous. Okay. I hope this isn't a mistake. <laughs> oh, we do get some slow, mediocre load. So that's a good sign. I hope it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, this is bad. Okay, we get two red boxes. And the first one appears at the very first appearance. That's not good. So hopefully the last red box will appear as the last one. And maybe it might evolve. But I have a feeling that it was a bad choice to go with the main gacha pool right off the bat. Oh no. Okay, hopefully this is a new episode plate with Kaname's new costume points. Where is my banner? Oh no! It is not a new plate! Oh no! <laughs> my bare minimum has not been met. I was hoping to at least get a plate with costume points for Kaname's costume. Uh oh. Well, technically, I think we can get it through the event episode plates so hopefully that will not uh, put me into a very bad mood <laughs> with this results okay we can't end the episode here okay we have to get something fantastic i mean the free single pool itself was amazing you know that episode plate does have a score note attached to it so it's it's a pretty good pool for a start of the video. But that template pool was just depressing. <laughs> so okay, we're gonna go with the um afternoon free daily pool first. Let's test the waters again before we pull the super dimension or uh, uh super galaxy gacha that I have tickets for. So yeah, you can tell the bad luck is there. How in the world is that single free pool getting the luck? That shouldn't happen. Alright. Okay, so it is a pretty rare common plate. Well, in, at least for myself. I have not seen many of it. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna do a single template pool from the super... Uh, Galaxy Gacha, um, you know, because 
let's conserve the rest of the tickets for the next video in case we need to flush out the good luck again. Alright, we get a pretty decent quick load right there. Okay. Alright, so the good luck is here. Hopefully. So single red box on the first bling. We do get one rainbow. So it's really squeezing out the good luck. It's not exactly fantastic. But there's something there. A lot of frontier love. Okay. There we go. No evolution. Okay. So it's one of Ranka's prettier episode plates where in terms of background illustration. Oh, the evolve. Nice. Alright, so not too bad. We do get two five-star episode plates out of this video. Um, and of course, Ranka's episode plate evolving. So that helps move my collection up a bit. So that's not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to end the video on a guaranteed five-star service gacha. So let's hope to pull something nice out of it because, well... One of my tickets is expiring soon in 3 days time, so why not make use of it now? No, we don't get the featured Kanamai episode plate, um, but let's end the whole episode with at least 3 copies of 5 star episode plates. Hopefully you get something nice out of this one, at least something rare. Uh, okay, we get to see it evolve. Ooh! Very mysterious. Okay. So, two episode plates fully evolve. I'm, I'm happy. Alright, let's take a look. Does this come with a special note? Nope, it doesn't, but it is a score repeat episode plate, so it's got potential as a high score achievement plate. Anyway guys, thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Uta Macro's Gacha videos. What do you guys think of the official handshake between Harmony, Go and Big West? And of course, what do you guys think on Kaname's brand new episode plate? Um, is it something you want to get? Or will you skip out on it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Of course, don't forget to do all the good stuff. Like, subscribe and share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next Utama Cross Gacha video. Uh, which belongs to Mikumo. Strangely enough, we're ending this episode on a Mikumo's episode. Wait, does that mean I'm predicting my own bad luck in the next video? Bye!